Good morning, world of readers. I am Book Dragon Erin, and I would like to welcome you all back to my booktube channel. I hope you all have had a really great week, and I hope you have a great week this week too. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Broken Hero by Elisa Lee. Broken Hero is a fictional contemporary romance novel, and some of the themes that are mentioned in this book are a single mom romance, an age gap romance, and a second chance romance theme all rolled into one. Even though this book is a standalone, things get confusing, so let me try to clear this up for you guys. Broken Hero is said to be book one in the Blue Mountain Lake series. However, this is the only book that was published so far, so I am calling it a standalone romance novel for now. However, this book was also published as Bash on Amazon Kindle and a part of the Hell's Reapers MC series. Again, this book was the only one published so far, so technically it's still a standalone novel. As far as the summary goes, Sebastian Bash Riley is more than broken. He is barely hanging on. He shows up in Blue Mountain Lake when he's at his lowest, reaching out to his best friend Silas, who for the last eight years has believed him to be dead. Megan Parker is a single mom working two jobs and going to school full time to make a better life for her daughter Charlotte. She doesn't have time for the scarred bash, but she cannot say no to him. She knows what rock bottom feels like, and she can't watch him break. Megan's been hurt in the past and doesn't trust easily, and Bash figuring out how to survive with the help of the Hell's Reapers Motorcycle Club. Will these two broken souls find completeness in each other, or will their demons force them apart forever? I enjoyed the characters and their histories, but I felt there wasn't much plot in this novel, which was a real letdown to me. I mean, there was no true climax other than the one between Bash and Megan. Besides noticeable grammatical errors, Megan's feud with her ex-husband Will wasn't so out there, and it was all resolved within a few pages. And part of me was hoping for a lot more drama, like Will could have been someone with much darker intentions wanting full custody of Charlotte, but he was more passive in his thoughts. He wasn't even there for the first six years of Charlotte's life and honestly wanted to be a much better dad to her. Commendable, but I still would have preferred more drama. In Megan mentioning the court system, there was no real drama there either. Megan's lawyer did have a good case against Will's actions and lawyer, but again, not much drama there was mentioned. Will didn't even seem to have any flaws or faults, which really did detract from the novel. So again, this book is more disliked than liked. And if this book was a movie, there is a good chance the movie adaptation would actually be better than the book itself. This is more of a feel-good novel, second chance romance than anything else, even with the Hell's Reapers Motorcycle Club. And the Hell's Reapers MC! They're a biker gang, shouldn't they stand for something besides being an inner circle of ex-military men? I mean, they could have been the dark protectors of the town with more action than mere words, which is what readers get in reading this novel. Hell's Reapers MC didn't even have any shootouts or confrontations with bad lawmen or anything, which would have added so much to the book. This book actually wasn't all that bad, and that just may be because I'm a perpetual optimist. And when it comes to 90% of the books I read, I enjoy them. However, this is more of a light-hearted biker romance novel with a guaranteed HEA. That's a happily ever after. And if you've watched my channel long enough, you know that I'm more than just partial to books with a happily ever after. So that kind of ending actually saved this novel from me outright hating it. With my thoughts out there, I don't think I need to talk about my official review, since all I did was talk about my official review in this book review video. So for now, I'll just finish up with my rating. This book was rated 3 out of 5 stars. This book is in the middle. I did not like it, nor did I hate it. It's in between, because I can't make up my mind if this book is actually good or if it's just really bad. Who agrees with me here? Comment below. Anyway, that is all for today, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this, 
Turn on that notification button to be notified when I upload brand new videos every single Sunday. Keep on reading and have a great day, everyone.